It's time to Talk Pittsburgh with Heather Abraham. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us for Talk Pittsburgh. I'm Heather Abraham and we have a full show today with a great group of guests sharing more about issues impacting you and their work in the community. So let's talk Pittsburgh. Your shopping habits, parenting decisions, and diet are just some of the things being influenced on social media. We're sitting down with some of the local people behind that content to discuss the evolving role of influencers. Plus, the sweetest spot in Pittsburgh, Grandview Bakery, shows us how they create their beautifully decorated desserts and the hidden messages in some of their work. But first, around 1,300 students will graduate from Duquesne University over the next few weekends, and one of the graduating seniors is here with us, hoping her journey to commencement will inspire others. Joining me now is Maggie Burke. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you, Heather. It's a pleasure to meet you. So let's talk next Saturday, this Saturday. This Saturday. You will receive your diploma. I will. And, and so was this something you always imagined happening or was there a point in your life where you thought this wasn't going to happen? I always have had a dream to graduate college and I am so honored to have received my degree from Duquesne University. <laughs> but you early on in your learning uh, while you were in elementary school you struggled with something and I'm hoping that you can share that with us because it's going to inspire others out there too. Totally. In third grade I was diagnosed with dyslexia and I was below grade level and I really struggled in seeing a successful future. Um, but through the help of my parents and teachers and other educators, I was able to see my worth and able to now graduate from Duquesne. So I am just so thrilled to have had support to be able to be here today. What was that like for you in third grade and younger than that too? Um, because, you know, by kindergarten, you're starting to learn some sight words and that sort of thing. Did you know at that young age that something was wrong or, or different? Totally. So originally I did not. I was a straight A student. I had friends. I was very successful. However, when I was reading, I was struggling with my comprehension. Yeah. And so it wasn't until later in my years when my mom would ask me questions about what I would read and I would say, I don't know. I don't know what I just read. So um, through support, through switching schools, I've been able to see tremendous growth, which has inspired me to continue my education at Duquesne through this summer and next year in being a reading specialist. Wow, that's wonderful. So, so you not only wanted to get to this point, but you want to give back and do the same that, that you received. Totally, yes. And what was it like when you started to meet with reading specialists? When I was taken out of Spanish um, to focus more on my English language, I felt heard and I felt listened to. Um, I gained like a whole new sense of confidence, which not only helped me in my academics, but in the real world as well. So my goal through being an educator in specific, being a reading specialist is allowing children to have a voice. I have to tell you that at my kids' school, they have a wonderful specialist who helps kids who are struggling. I remember when I was a kid having to go to a, a speech therapist just briefly, and I felt this sense of um, embarrassment or that I was different. Seeing it now in my kids' school, they get prizes. Like, all the kids want to go see Mrs. Woods. <laughs> um, did you find that when you were growing up? Was it a treat for you to go see your specialist, the, the person who was helping you? Totally. I think that my reward was always McDonald's. <laughs> that was always my lunch when I would go and see an interventionist. But um, I did tell my classmates that I would just go see a doctor every day. There was a part of me that was embarrassed um, and there was a part of me that felt like I might be less than other people. But now that I've gone to several different schools, I've traveled the world and I've been able to see different education systems, I've learned that I have a gift and that that gift other people have too and their voices can be heard as well. Can you tell us more about dyslexia? Uh, what is it and how, how it impacts other people? Sure, so it's just a learning-based difference that focuses mostly on comprehension. So in reading, there's fluency, comprehension, phonics, phonological awareness. So for me specifically, I'm able to read um, and I'm now able to comprehend what I read. However, any part of those major five, the big five they call it, can affect how someone might read. This is my ignorance to it all. I'd always heard that dyslexia was like reading backwards. Mm -hmm. And I don't know even truly what that means, but is there any truth to that? Did it just, is it just 
feel jumbled when you're reading? Totally. I think that when anyone says like, oh, do you write your B's and D's backwards? Like, of course, that's a symptom, I guess. Um, however, it's not until later in second grade when that becomes a true issue where you might have concern for a student. Um, so for me, whenever I take a test, I have several accommodations that I can use, such as enlarged font size. Um, therefore, I'm able to see the words better. Yeah. Um, so Duquesne has provided all of those accommodations, not only in reading, but also in other subjects to allow me to succeed in the classroom. And now you're going to take what you have done succeeding at Duquesne and transfer that to helping other kids succeed. Is there a grade level that you're interested in, in helping and starting with? My program is pre-K through fourth grade Aww. and I truly love them all. I try and see the value in every child. Um, and through my experiences that Duquesne has had to offer, it's very hard for me to just pick one specific grade level. Right. So um, I would be happy in any classroom in any grade level. Have you found a job yet? You're graduating on Saturday? Graduating on Saturday and the job search has started. Oh good, And Great. interviews are lined up. So from here on out, it's just the balls in my court. That's wonderful. What do you think that you've learned at Duquesne that is gonna help those kids K through fourth when you, when you get there? I think that what I'm gonna learn is just confidence, that these kids need to believe in themselves yeah. um, and having someone who's supportive and sees their worth can help them in believing that they can do anything they put their mind to. So that's my overall goal. I love your optimism and your spirit and, and you coming on here and helping others do the same. Thank you. Thank you so much and best of luck. If anybody is hiring, she's looking. Look, <laughs> I just put a job out there for you. <laughs>